India is witnessing a tremendous increase in digital payments. In October 2022, India's flagship digital payment platform UPI Unified Payment Interface has processed over 7.3 billion transactions with a transaction of 145 billion dollars. Well, with 1.9 billion population and 79% of bank account penetration, numbers might look convincible. But the big question in the room is, what made this 8-year-old payment system have this much of massive adoption? To understand this phenomena, we need to go back all the way to 2016. UPI was officially released in 2016. The mastermind behind UPI is Dr. Raghuram Ranjan, the then RBI governor. If you don't know who this guy is, he was the director of research at the International Monetary Fund and also a distinguished professor at Booth School of Business, Chicago. When UPA was first introduced with just 21 banking partners, it had zero transactions for the first three months, but picked it up later and expanded like a wildfire. As of December 2022, UPA is working with more than 350 banking partners with 240 million Indian customers, roughly about 40% of Indian population. From a customer standpoint, you might have bank accounts with different banking partners, but if you have registered all these bank accounts with the same phone number, using that phone number, you can install any of the payment service provider apps like PhonePay, Google Pay, to authenticate with that phone number. Payment service provider app will display all the bank accounts which are registered with that phone number. You can move money from one bank account to another bank account within your bank accounts and also to the other bank accounts. So you don't have to care about what your friend or your family member is banking with. You simply take their phone number and use that phone number as an ID and you can send and receive just with the phone number. Behind the scenes, the phone number is linked to all your bank accounts. UPI will take care of transacting all these amounts between these banks. Now let's see how UPI transaction flow works. There are two varieties of transactions in UPI, push and pull. We'll try to understand how push works. The customer initiates the transaction either with payee's mobile number or with a QR code. Now the payer PSP will forward the same request to NPCI. Following that, the NPCI UPI server will forward the same request to the payee's PSP for address resolution and authorization. The payee PSP resolves the address and provides the account details, works with the remitter bank. The payee PSP will provide the bank details to UPI and the same will be forwarded to NPCI. Now the NPCI will check with the remitter bank to debit funds from the payer's account. Once money gets debited, a credit request is sent to the beneficiary's bank. The beneficiary bank credits the payee's account and later responds to NPCI UPI. Now NPCI UPI server passes the response to the status of the transaction via payer's PSP to the customer. I have to share my personal experience using one of the UPI's payment service provider, PhonePay. PhonePay is clearly my favorite, although there are other big named uh, payment service providers like Google Pay, Razor Pay, Paytm. To test it out, I went to a street vendor who was selling fresh coconut water. Once I'm done with my business, I offered him to pay in cash. He politely rejected it and requested me to pay through UPI and pointed me to the QR code which was sticked on his stall. I was really surprised and I asked the vendor if he's cool with me recording the entire transaction and he said, okay. I took my phone, opened my phone pay app, scanned the QR code, entered the amount, selected the bank account, entered my passcode, and boom, that's it. The transaction is done. The vendor was happy, I was happy. It's me one of those keynote speeches by Apple to make a transaction simpler, and all of a sudden the entire audience knew just how fast and just how easy it is. Okay, your total is 2378. That's it! <laughs> India picked up that concept and used it in PI. The rest is history. After doing some research, I've learned that in December 2019, noting the success of UPI, Google suggested Federal Reserve Board to follow UPI as an example in developing FedNow. FedNow is a real-time payment system for the United States. According to the FedNow's website, it is scheduled to launch between May and July 2023. FedNow will work on a 24-hour, 365 days a year basis, as opposed to the government's current system that is closed on weekends and holidays. After my incident with the coconut vendor, I was in a complete surprise mode. It reminded me of my time going to undergrad college in India, where we were heavily relied upon carrying cash, 
forget about credit cards even debit cards were not even a thing during my time i can say this for sure upi has become one of the most successful deep tech innovation coming out of india that's all for this episode there is more coming on this in my channel so make sure to subscribe and follow me on linkedin i will see you in another video